more more the series of lectures before we throw you off for milestone one and two and whatnot. And so um, we've been since day one, basically th been throwing around the word libraries, kind of sort of expecting you to have some background knowledge on what libraries are. But to more formally discuss, I guess, what libraries are two weeks into the class, um, um, we, we, we can cover the formal definition for just a second. Um, so what are libraries and why do I care? Well, the one sentence definition I stole from Wikipedia reads, a library is also a collection of implementations of behavior written in terms of a language that has a well-defined interface by which the behavior is invoked. Now that's a lot of fancy words. Fancy words mean nothing to Noah. Noah is a caveman. Um, so the, the, to break down the fancy words kind of, kind of piece by piece real quick, um, a collection of implementations of behavior. Um, so essentially you just have a bunch of already written code to do stuff for you. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, there are totally no downsides to libraries. I'm being sarcastic. We'll cover that in a second. Um, but, um, written in terms of a language such as JavaScript, usually for our purposes, um, and has a well-defined interface by which the behavior is invoked. So uh, there's a pre predetermined way by which you call that pre-written code. There's a function name you can invoke. There's a class interface, be it whatever. There's some way, some specific well-defined way that you invoke that behavior. Um, and so one tiny, tiny library, I guess, is utilities.js that we throw in with Catbook for you um, to do our get and post requests. So get and post are uh, two examples of uh, functions that are a part of a really, really tiny library for you. And so uh saying that we've been we've given you utilities.js this whole time um kind of prefaces the idea that you've been doing library stuff since day one um literally just this week we covered socket.io um for real-time updating of things so that's a mediocre sized library but we even have a chunkier boy um that you've been doing this entire time React itself is a absolutely massive library that takes quite a bit of time to figure out. We've been, some, some of you are still struggling with React and I still am struggling with React because I need to study functional components a little bit more. So, um, so uh, libra ri libraries have a lot to them, but there's even more libraries uh, because um, generally the sponsor lectures also like to cover other libraries. Um, we don't really recommend you use it, but jQuery is a library. Um, Bloomberg talked about uh, D3 a little bit, the data visualization um, library. Um, for 3D applications, I think I've thrown 3.js at you a couple times. Um, there's also chart.js. I could literally throw like 10,000 PNG images on the slide until it becomes a garbled mess but Google probably wouldn't like me storing that many images on a slide. Um, and so there comes the second part of the second slide that I had. Uh, why, why should you care? Um, well, I, I hate to remind you, but we have Milestone 2 coming up and uh, that kind of requires you to make a site. And even after that, especially if you're competing, um, yeah, you, you, you kind of want to do some fancy things, some of you, and uh, you don't really have a lot of time. IAP is a, is a pretty short time. So th that's kind of uh, our primary use for libraries is that they're a great way of doing more complex things in a very short time. Um, and um, even outside of IAP, like I, there's no way I would be able to in pure JS straight code up uh, a, a 3D 
3D graphics or any of the data visualization things. So it, it's also not just like a time saver, but like a, a accessibility type thing. Um, so uh, it, it allows you to do things that you, even with all the time in the world, probably wouldn't be able to do normally. Um, I'm, I, we're not all God tier developers, but there's a catch to all this library stuff. Using libraries is fine and dandy, but only if you have already internalized, gone to the top of a mountain and studied the, the documentation for six years, if that documentation even exists. So like we, we could spend the entire spring semester, probably the fall semester after that, just talking about, uh, just, just simply talking about React and React alone. Um, so some of you probably are like Google Maps API, Spotify API, all this stuff, all these little libraries. And that's absolutely fantastic for implementing those types of things. But uh, you really should uh, be prepared to spend at least, at least as much time reading the documentation also, again, if it exists, please, please use libraries that are well documented because us trying to help you in office hours figure out something that doesn't have documentation is not fun. Um, uh, spend at least as much time reading the documentation as you do actually uh, coding these coding these things. Uh, so side note, because Shannon asked me to talk about this for a sec, um, there, there's a, another little uh, subclass of libraries here that uh, are great for lazy people and or graphic, uh, graphic design is not their passion. Um, uh, the key among them is Bootstrap. Um, so these are, these are a, a, a collection of libraries that uh, well, Bootstrap itself is only one library, but they're, they're a collection of libraries that, uh, that are cool for pre-made components, pre-made JS, pre-made CSS. Um, Bootstrap is cool for implementing a lot of more complex components. Um, so uh, Bootstrap's original tagline here um, Bootstrap is originally made for just plain JS, but they have a React version. Um, and yeah, Bootstrap is cool and all. If you go to their actual site and you go to their examples, um, they have I they have this cool carousel. Um, carousels might be a little hard to make, just 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 a little bit, and so you can save yourself several hours of time with this cool carousel and woo all the staff members with your pretty, pretty carousel. Uh, throw some horsies on it, like just have a cool carousel. Um, but um, naturally this, this, this whole, this whole uh, bootstrap type thing uh, uh, suffers uh, from the other uh, universal library catch um, in such that you, 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 you'll have to read some documentation. Um, um, but for the, for the more complicated things, this is certainly recommendable, but for, for tiny things, uh, for tiny things, it's often far faster, far easier just to implement your own HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript. Um, but and so we we've talked conceptually about uh all of this uh library stuff but uh let, let, let's do a little more of a concrete example of library stuff so just because i was bored i picked the um 3.js package um so all we have to do to kind of install it is we we've talked about node package manager for the past little while and uh, so we can just simply do npm install three and that will hopefully if your npm install stuff is not borked um, uh, 
gives will give us the extra little um, 3.js package. And so, but but now that we have the package installed, um, we 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 get to do the gross part, and we're going to do it together because 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 it's because it's fun. It's fun. Reading documentation is fun. You will all enjoy reading documentation. All right, so uh, the the 3.js site, if you go to it, um, they have their getting started section, which has the creating a scene um, at the top of it. And so um, they they just have this raw HTML. Um, uh, and so we, we understand how raw HTML works and we understand how importing a script works. Um, so, so that's, that's not really too important for us particularly. Um, but here's, here's some things that I, I, I didn't really know beforehand. Uh, what, what, what is this scene function or object? What is this perspective camera? And so, um, if, if we pay attention to the documentation a little bit, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see um that a uh, perspective camera is just one of the many different cameras it doesn't really explain exactly what it is but i think we could yeah if we if we really wanted to we can go over here and examine exactly what a perspective camera is and what each of these uh each of these parameters do specifically but for now i just want to take their example as they've as they've given it um, in fact, actually, they explain what these attributes do for perspective camera. Cool us. Um, so we we can scroll a bit further, and uh, one of the one of the uh, they they give explanations on why they do what they do, which is far better documentation than most. But near the bottom here, they they actually give pretty much a copy and pasteable example, pretty much. Um, and so that's kind of what I, I, I would say I recommend um, for most of these library type things is find a, um, yeah, find a React version of them. I'll pull up a React version in just a second. Um, find a React version of an, an example and just throw it in some, uh, test dummy portion of your app or something and just just fiddle with it until some of it makes sense. Um, and so what I have done is um, I have found somebody who who already did uh, the most of the react conversion for me. Um, they they just have, this though they 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 do the whole thing in one single file which is which is which is not what i want to do so what i want to do is i want to replace that lovely profile section at the bottom left of uh the cat happiness thing uh and i just want to replace it with a spinning green cube um, and so with just a tiny bit, uh, with, with just a, a few tiny tweaks, we, we, we can do that. Um, and Noah's going to have to stop sharing and reshare, and he's going to have to open his VS code because I forgot I wanted to show this off. Um, hold up. Uh, uh, in the meantime, how is everyone's lunch? What did you eat for lunch now? I had McDonald's chicken nuggets. What the? Huh? What the? What sauce? Sweet and sour. Yeah. Sweet and sour is the best. Um. So yeah, we're gonna reshare this time. We're going to. Um, well, that might be a problem as my Slack notifications show up on the screen. That's a problem. So we're just only going to share the, 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 oh gosh, dang it, Zoom. Uh, we're, we're just going to share this. 
Um, and uh, if we yeet on over into profile.js, um, did it not update because VS Code was already open? I, I know, hold up, we'll do git reset dash dash hard because live coding is, is totally fantastic. Um, well, why is this not automatically updating? All right, well, we'll, we'll close VS Code and reopen it and see if, uh, see if uh, this changes anything. No, why, why, why are we not? Oh, why are we, why are we, why are we bad? Um, well, see um sometimes staff runs into problems too um i totally had totally had this thing uh, uh totally had this thing uh, working at one point or another um but uh but uh da, da, da. well this is not fun Oh, it even does the import cube. So wait, hold up. Why why does it only I'm gonna guess that this branch is somehow boosted and I don't know what happened to it. Um so we're 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 gonna do some real live coding here. Um so what Noah's gonna do. Um Oh, I made a separate component for it, didn't I? Yeah, Claire is shush. Um, I realize what I, I I think I know what I'm doing here. So I made a cube.js component, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. No, no, it's just an idiot. Ignore everything I said in the past five minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So basically, I ended up uh, copying uh, over. Uh, the uh, the code that was given to us in that lovely example that they converted from the normal JS to React for us. It didn't actually take that much effort to convert it from normal React.js. And so what happens is if Noah go ahead and um, gets uh, the npm run hot loader going and his npm start going in the background um it would maybe help if oh, i forgot to cd uh cd desktop with the cat look. Ta -da. All right. And then we'll go back to sharing Chrome in just a second. Remember what I said when it was a lax lecture? Yeah, I really meant that. Uh, all right, so we got NPM going and we got that going. So now Noah can share Chrome again. This is a pain. Anyways, but uh, so now we can go to localhost 5000. And if we actually log in, ta-da, um, and we go over to profile, ta-diddly-do, we have a magic rotating cube. 
um this cube is the best cube it's like 20 pixels wide it is it is very anticlimactic for the struggle that I just endured for it. Um, but this is the struggles that you will endure for many of your libraries. Um, let this be let this be a, a, a slight warning. Oh yes, Johan, please please make a Buka Buka 3D. <laughs> I I don't know how much how much uh, how much effort that would that, that would entail. But um so that that pretty much uh that pretty much concludes my thing so kind of at the end here um in a in a spitballing type thing uh what what what's one library that you think you guys um might 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 use in your potential applications that you are slightly confused on Nobody's using no libraries. Everybody understands their libraries. Canvas stuff. Do you have a specific Canvas library? Spotify. OK, let's actually, you know what? I have not read the Spotify API documentation. Let, let's let's see. Let's see what the Spotify API documentation looks like and see how cancer it is. All right, we're we're going to do Spotify API documentation. Spotify for developers. Look at us. We're moving on up in the world. Um, yeah, so docs. Here you'll find documentation about our APIs. Huh. Let's 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 just do our web API. So they explain to us what what uh, requests are go them um, and they give the a, a, a slight overview of what their API parameters are that's probably a very important thing to remember um, they have rate limiting that's probably out of your ballpark um oh so here they do a a lovely uh request for uh for 50 singles of a specific artist. So yeah, um, basically this this lovely lecture is just a, uh, is a, uh, oh, they, they really don't give just, uh, just too many. Do they, do they give specific API endpoints? That, that's, that's not too fun. Oh, it would probably help uh, if I went to the reference tab. So um, what's one thing you want to know? Why is Zoom chat not opening? Zoom, open the chat. Claire, I can help with moral and emotional support. Try this one, React Spotify API. Yeah, so here you would just figure out what you wanted. Oh, hey, we even have this lovely hook section. Um, that might be cool if any of you wanted to learn more functional components again. Um, uh, yeah, just, it, it, it's hard to structure um, uh, what you're supposed to kind of figure out more 
more on your own type deal as a uh... yes this lecture is a real look into the web dev in the wild uh, uh i don't know if that's a that, that's a happy or a sad thing there you just just spend your time digging through documentation they say mit students can't read uh when we spend half of our time reading Tell me that's an oddly specific request, but uh, I we we are coming coming close to uh to a to a time, um. So unless there's like a specific example, um, you want to yeet through the documentation and try and explain specific parameters of. I think I'll try and yeet this over to Shannon so she has spare time at the end for announcements and whatnot. 